It's review time. Searching is directed by Anish Shiganti and it stars John Cho and Deborah Messing. A father's worst fear comes to reality when his daughter doesn't come home and doesn't answer her phone. He tries to find any type of clue possible to see what happened to his poor Margot. He starts calling the police, checking her laptop, checking all her history, calling her friends only to find out that she has kept secrets, which frightens him to learn that he doesn't really know his daughter and he doesn't know what she's been getting herself into. While the found footage genre is completely over, they have milked all the juice out of the tit and not for a lack of trying either because we had some great found footage films like the original Blair Witch or even End of Watch with Jake Gyllenhaal. But then you got stuff like The Gallows and you got stuff like Paranormal Activity in 3D. They really tried to put 3D in found footage. What? But now there's a new genre in town and it's based with technology. It's basically found footage using computer cameras, phone cameras, what have you. The first movie to really put this on the big screen was Unfriended, which was a pretty clever use of the technology meets the horror genre. But by the end of the movie, it almost felt like the story was working against the genre capabilities and the technical capabilities. Now here comes Searching. The biggest compliment I can give this movie is how well they use all the use of technology to make a cohesive story move forward. From the father checking his emails, his FaceTime, his daughter's Facebook account, you'd certainly get to feel like you are in the father's shoes trying to find his daughter Margot. And while you don't feel like it's the first person point of view, here comes John Cho with a very captivating and strong performance. I mean, John Cho has been in the game for a long time. I mean, I could even go into the bait that he coined the term MILF thanks to American Pie. We got him in Harold and Kumar. He is Zulu in Star Trek, but he's planted his seed in almost every fabric of the genre from, from independent with better luck tomorrow to comedies like American Pie and Harold and Kumar. He's been on TV. He's been in big flicks. He's been in big action epics. I mean, he has been in the game for a long time. And now he's really showing how he can act in a very dramatic movie and he brings his a game from the get-go of this movie you could tell that there's something broken and it's all explained in the first five minutes of the movie that are very reminiscent to a movie like up great use of editing it's a very heartwarming and at the same time heartbreaking opening sequence you got to give john cho a lot of credit because he carries this movie mostly on his back the only other name actor in this movie is deborah messing who holds her own and does a great job as well as the detective that just feels so personal in this case and while this is a thriller that you've probably seen over and over again this by no means is an original thriller on a story-based sense but it's how they tell the story that is so captivating through this technology you even get a sense of the gone girl vibe with how they start treating the father after a certain while once the daughter is missing they almost start putting the blame on him you see what Chiganti tries to do with the use of reddit youtube facebook comments youtube comments how people start perceiving the story you get so many multi-based opinions on the matter it shows the positive and the negatives from technology how it can help a community how it can destroy a community how it can end friendships how it can show someone's true colors it really makes you wonder about your friends it also shows you how your perception can be changed you see the perception of the father being changed online some people start mocking him start people start accusing him it's pretty tough to watch. While truth be told, I found the ending to be a tad bit predictable. The story and the way the story's being told kept me forward. Shaganti just kept things at a breakneck pace. John Cho and Deborah Messing kept the performances A1. And I was just thoroughly impressed with how much the story worked on a filmmaking aspect. Now this is the new gimmick of low budget filmmaking and searching and unfriended did two very interesting and different things at the same time. I wonder how long this type of gimmick will last and what more can you do with it? And that's all really up to the producer of this film, Timur Begman Betov, who you probably know from Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, Wanted, or that Ben Hur remake everybody wants to forget about. Mostly he is a producer and he is the one that produced Hardcore Henry, one of those first person point of view action flicks. He also produced Unfriended and Unfriended 2 and of course he produced this one too. 
Now he claims that there's 14 movies using the same type of gimmick. So I wonder if we're really going to reach all 14 films. I find it highly unlikely. But all in all, I found this to be a great breakneck thriller. It keeps you on the edge of your feet. It has fantastic dramatic performances from John Cho and Deborah Messing. Shiganti does a great job directing. This is his first time filmmaking and he does amazingly well putting the story forward with the technology and the editing use of the technology itself. I'm gonna have to give Searching a full four out of five stars. But once again, guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see here, click like at the bottom. We got more reviews coming your way. This is Ray from Livewire. And once again, thanks for watching.